In concerning sizes, some people just start creating their poster without looking at the PowerPoint page setup. The default is 7.5 by 10 inches, which is far too difficult to work with. Uh, select a bigger size that's proportional to your final poster. Of course, if you use a template with a preset size, you won't have to worry about this at all because the size is already set for you. Chances are your conference will give you some sort of guidance when it comes to what size posters they want you to present. The most popular poster board size tends to be 48 inches high by 96 inches wide, which is 4 feet high by 8 feet wide. Of course, that's huge, and that's the board size. The board is the thing that you tack your poster onto. Your actual poster size itself shouldn't necessarily be as big as the entire board behind it. So for a 48 by 96 inch board, we often see posters that are printed at, say, 36 by 72 inches or 42 by 84 inches. Both of those sizes would look nice on a 48 by 96 board. There are many other popular sizes. It really just depends on your conference and your specific needs. Before we go any further, I need to tell you about a little quirk in PowerPoint. When it comes to page sizes, PowerPoint will only let you go up to a page width or height of 56 inches. To get a poster bigger than that, you'll need to have a page set up smaller than or equal to 56 inches in PowerPoint while making sure to choose a size that's the same proportion as the poster you want printed. For instance, let's say you want a poster to be 36 by 72 inches. 72 inches is obviously larger than the 56 inch maximum in PowerPoint, so you'd need to size your PowerPoint file, for example, 24 by 48 inches. So both sides are less than 56 inches, and then tell your poster printer to print the file as 36 by 72 inches. How did I come up with 24 by 48 inches? Well, it's basically the same proportion as your final output, 2 to 1 proportion. So if you wanted a poster that's, say, 36 by 72 inches, a 36 by 72 poster has a height to width ratio of 1 to 2. So any PowerPoint slide that has the same aspect ratio of 1 to 2 can be used to create that 36 by 72 inch poster. So 24 by 48 inch would work. So would 28 by 56 inches and 20 by 40. Avoid using very small page sizes like 6 by 12 inches since they don't give you enough room to work with. MakeSigns.com has a handy page size calculator that will tell you what poster sizes can be printed from a given PowerPoint page size. If you go to MakeSigns.com, check the poster page size calculator. Basically, you just enter the size of your PowerPoint poster's page and click the button. The tool will calculate the different sizes of posters that can be printed from that particular file. All of our free templates take care of this problem for you because the instructional information we've placed on the side indicates the page size for that particular file as well as the poster sizes that can be ordered from this file. They're all proportional to the actual file dimensions, so you're covered. But if you use a template from some other place or if you need to resize your poster for any reason, we have a page size converter that will help you show the steps you need to go through in PowerPoint. If you simply change the page size in PowerPoint to a size of a different proportion, everything on your page is going to get squished to fit the new proportion. That may not be what you're looking for. What you'll have to do is change the size of the page without affecting the graphics and text that are on the page. To do that, you need to temporarily remove all of your content from the page, then you can resize the page, and then paste the content back on the page. You can then rearrange everything to fit the new page. We've built a page size converter tool to help you modify the proportions of an existing poster. You would first enter the original height and width, and then your desired height and width, and click the button. The tool will tell you if the two sizes are proportional, and if they aren't, it'll tell you what size you need to change your PowerPoint page setup to in order to achieve the desired dimensions. Now, it's not easy to do, and we suggest saving your file before you do this. Then when you're ready, you would open your existing PowerPoint slide, select everything on your slide by pressing Control and A, and then cut everything from your slide by pressing Control and X. Now you'd go to the Design tab and select Page Setup. On some versions of PowerPoint, it's called Slide Size. A dialog box will appear similar to this one. You can enter the height and width of the page. 
The slide orientation, portrait, or landscape will automatically adjust based on the page sizes entered. Then click OK. If the rulers are turned on in the View tab, check the ruler box, you'll be able to see that the slide is now the size you entered. Now paste all of the items back onto the slide by pressing Ctrl and V. At this point, you may have a lot of extra space on your slide, or you may have some content hanging off the slide boundaries. You'll need to rearrange your content so that everything is displayed nicely on your newly resized page. Without a doubt, people tend to have some of the biggest problems with sizing issues. So if you get stuck, give us a call. We'd be happy to walk you through it, even if you don't use us to print your poster. That's all for this video. You'll find more at MakeScience.com.